Hello everyone. So in last couple of videos, we saw what is API, what is REST, what are request, response, and uh, what is endpoint, base URL, resources, parameters, meters. Okay, so these things we saw. Now in this tutorial, what we'll do, we'll try to see this get, put, post, delete, delete uh, APIs. Okay, before going to that, that it is uh, like uh, one tool is there like postman tool okay see developers are creating these things but there should be some means to test it right so to test that either using automation we can do that 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 is through rest SEO jar file or we can do it manually using postman tool okay so this is like little i'll explain about postman tool then we'll jump directly into into this get put post delete okay so now so let's go to browser and we'll see postman download postman okay download postman tool okay download postman for windows okay so this is where from where you can download it uh, see here when you'll download this when you'll install it in your system then you launch it it will look something like this okay I have something created already, but it will look like this. These things will not be there. Okay. So now, so now, so this is what this postman tool is. So what, what we have to do, we have to enter the API details here, like base URL, then resources, then param path param, if it, anything is there. Okay. So, so though, after uh, giving those details, when you'll click on send button, what it will do, it will hit that API and based on whatever data you have requested, it will do that operation. If you want to fetch something, it will fetch the data. If you want to, to add something, some data, then it will add data in the DB and etc. We can do that. Okay. So now, so first we'll go with the get. Okay. Now the gate, the gate is like see these these are the operation it used to support okay so but we will be going through get post put and delete for timing okay now to for get request what we have to go do we have to provide here base url okay base url then slash then resources resources then parameters if if it if any okay and then after just you'll hit this and it will fetch the result uh, accordingly okay so now there are two one is path param and one is query parameter so if anything is like query parameter you have you can provide it here suppose data equal to 23 see here so see this is like query parameters okay so this is path parameter remove that and this is query parameter how it looks like it is separated by question mark and this is the key that is what we have provided here and this is the value that is what we are we have provided over here so this is like through here we can pass the parameters okay now the second type is authorization authorization for see currently we don't have any authorization in our uh, application which i am going to explain in future videos so we don't have any uh, para uh, means authorization so we'll not select anything there are a couple of uh, para uh, means uh, authorizations are there it is like uh, api key authorization bearer token uh, authorization see this is uh, like important okay this bearer token uh, it many people they used to ask this in interview so when i'll uh, add videos for authorization at that time i'll be explaining all now basic auth in basic auth suppose your application needs user id and password to log in so those details you need to provide here before hitting any any api request okay otherwise it will not work they'll uh, uh, throw some authorization error okay so this is what basic auth then auth1 and auth2 nowadays every com uh, company use this auth2 i'll explain what is this auth2 okay so for time being don't select anything and this is headers so what is this headers in this headers like uh, developers whenever developer create application they can can define some headers okay so while hitting any request you need to provide those headers so one of the example is like content type okay content type and application json okay so oh, sorry application json okay so this is what so what does it means we need we need 
the response in the form of json this is what it means like content type okay and one more is like authorization okay see authorization is there right so here you need to provide bearer token here bearer and then some token id will be something like that okay so this is what it is so currently we don't have anything so it is like the headers we need to provide it here but don't worry about like what headers what authorization what params from where you will get everything developer will provide if they are creating any api it is their responsibility to provide you each and every detail to test this application okay so now now this is headers and what is this is body okay uh, just a second sorry for that yeah so this is body in this body whenever you are hitting any post request and you want to send some data to add it in database so if that api requires any data okay any uh, data so those data will go in the form of body okay so here you can select it raw and uh, just uh, graph so json in the form of json you are sending you can do this okay so what example we have seen here see this is what you can send it see like this you can send the details whenever like any post request you are doing or any put request you want to update few specific things so you can use this put and provide these details put and post are almost similar just put is to update few details you want to update this one updated earlier it was something else now you are sending something else to update it so this is what the body is okay now yeah that's it for time being just to concentrate on this and uh, i will be using this postman tool to to explain whatever api developers has created and how to get response how to uh, provide path parameter how to provide query parameter how to use them while fetching details from the uh, database or server okay so this is what it is for time being this uh, this is like basic uh, explanation about this postman tool okay thank you guys